Welcome to Beer and Board Games, folks. Can you handle the desert heat? If not, you'd better camel up. Tonight, we have a very special guest on the show. It's this guy right here. Look at, look at, he's done a lot of stuff, John. Hey, come on, come on, Brett is very special in his own. Okay, fine, Brett is special Two too. Two special guests. Very special. I'm special. But John, can sure you talk special. a little bit about what makes you special? I am a cartoonist. I do a comic strip called Dork Tower, which is celebrating its 20th anniversary. 20 years of Dork Tower, yeah. I illustrate the Munchkin card game and uh, the Shea Geek card games from Steve Jackson Games. And I was one of the founders of Out of the Box Games, which brought apples to apples yep. uh, to the world, or as some people call it, the gateway drug to Cards Against Humanity. Cool, well, welcome, guys. My friend Brett is a uh, runs the beer and board games get together, as opposed to say what? Board, board <laughs> oh wait, board and games and beer. I'm <laughs> sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. And, and Brett has also designed a couple of my favorite games. A, a new game that is, was successfully uh, funded on Kickstarter a few months ago, called. Dual Powers Revolution 1917. It's, it's a fantastic game. Oh. It's a two-player game or a one-player game. Or it does have solo. But you, you can't go blind. Oh, it's fine. a really fantastic. It's a game. masturbation game. <laughs> it's a revolutionary <laughs> masturbation game. Oh, so we're on in a circle. Got it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, that's all well and good. But tell us how to play Camel Up. Camel Up is a game of betting on camel racing. It takes place at the turn of the last century. At every turn, the camels will move due to the roll of the dice, which are stored in the lovely pyramid, which is one of the niftiest game components that I can remember, and it is our job to bet either on winning camels, losing camels. You can bet on a camel to win a leg of the race, which is once all five dice are. He's trying to tell you something. You're not listening to him at all. I know how to I'm play this. Turn already. this car around. I'm going to turn this camel around and go home. <laughs> There's one other component in the game that you you didn't mention. Beer. I did a thing. In your pants. Tonight we're drinking Lockdown Scotch Ale mm. from Arcadia Ales. Camel up. Cheers. It's That's so tangy. It's it's almost sour. It's just, I don't it's like that sour. at all. So this is a game, don't think too hard about it, is the advice of the designer. Yeah. Okay. Which is uh, something I've never managed to do. I'm really good at that, though. The camels can leap onto other camels. The dice go from one to three, and if you're on another camel and the camel moves before you, you move along with the camel you're under. If you cross the finish line and you're on top, you will be the overall winner. We'll use these cards to bet on the overall winner or the overall loser. When you think you know who's gonna win the game, we pick up the pile of cards, and the first person who bet on the correct winner gets eight points. The second person to bet on the correct winner gets five points. The third person gets three points. The incorrect camel, you lose a point. Once all five dice are gone, that's the end of a leg. You could think, oh, I think orange is going to win this turn, this leg. So you would, as your turn, take this card. If that camel wins the leg, you get five points. If the camel comes in second, you get one point. If the camel neither wins nor comes in second, you lose a point. Third thing you can do is place either your oasis or mirage token. A oasis and a camel lands here, they will move forward one extra space. If you play the Mirage and the camel leaps on it, it goes back. Fourth thing is just moving a camel. It's really fun and really tempting to move the camels every time, but moving a camel gives all of the other opponents more information. Three. Yellow three. Orange one. Green three. So, oh, interesting. And there we go. So that is the starting lineup. Who starts first? I go Why first. You go first. Okay. That's in the rules. Mike goes first. I've read that. I thought it was Mark. Hey, Bert. Real quick, the thing when I messed up your name was not on camera. Oh. So if we make reference to it, it's not going to make sense to the oh. whole audience. But now you've mentioned it, so now it will make sense. <laughs> Don't try <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to place this right there. Oh! There's a rule on placement. You, it has to place it in an empty spot. There can't be camels there. And there has to be at least one empty space in between any two of those tiles. You yeah. put a minus one here if you just wanted to totally knock off yeah. white and orange. Yeah. You could do yeah. that, but you have to be a total jerk to do that. Oh, <laughs> total jerk. Yeah. Blue three. Blue nice three. Job, blue. He's on his own. One, one two, two, three. three. Blue's moving. That's mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. 
Get that out of there. Pyramid Vacation. <laughs> Worst National Lampoon movie ever. Yes, Pyramid Vacation. I'm gonna make the horses run. Ooh, that's yeah. interesting. White's actually in a fairly good position. Yeah, I think I will oh. bet on white to win this leg. So you can still grab a bet on white. I think I better. It seems like that's the thing to do. No white for you. Sorry, Matt. I'll just do not a goddamn thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. With the Rolling the dice is guaranteed points. We're I like to roll the dice because it's fun. <laughs> I know, isn't it? Yellow goes one. All right. Boop. If orange rolls a three. Orange could come in first. Wow. Let's see if that happens. Three, you go! Three, three. One, two, three. Wow, that guarantees a white win. It's a nice day for a white, white win. win. <laughs> three! Oh, oh it see, could have worked. Could have worked. Wrong order. So that's the end of a leg. Leg bets pay out. I'll take five. Monster. I'll take two. One for moving yeah, once. One dollar for each of your pyramid tokens. You go first this round. Very good. I like orange. I want orange to come from behind. Yeah. You should not let emotion come into this. You That's think? a horrible move. No? <laughs> but I thought you weren't supposed to think, so I'm totally okay. just Don't using my gut. Okay. This is like, okay. seems like the right thing to do. You put that <laughs> oasis there? Yeah. Yes. It apparently it was a mistake, but... No, no, no it's not, not a terrible mistake. <laughs> it's... I just like rolling dice. <laughs> <laughs> Blue three. Blue three. One, two, three. Ooh, I'm gonna put the mirage right there. You're trying to stop orange, aren't you? <laughs> I'm trying to stop white. Okay, not thinking, not thinking, not thinking. That on white. That's felt like thinking. Three yellow. Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh. Sorry, screwed, white. son. I mean, white hasn't moved yet. Green and That's orange true. haven't moved yet. So That's white true. could theoretically still end up on top. It's that crazy. I hate you all. I'm taking green. <laughs> green. <laughs> Throwing good money. That's like doubling bad. down. <laughs> that is doubling down on the stupid. That's amazing. <laughs> it's doubling down on the dumb. I admire your courage. Just called me America 2018. <laughs> Patriotic pizza delivery person drawing you, drawing them. Boy. That's very meta. The fastest drawn. Nice. So basically whoever finishes first is most likely to win. Done. All right, let's see it. Okay, here's our pizza man. Flag on his cap, and he's standing by a flag. And his pizza restaurant is called USA Pizza. Wow. You'll recognize me on the easel. I mean, that's the winner. You guys don't even matter. Who's buried in this anyway? Do they, does the game say who's buried in this one? Uh, Grant. <laughs> Ulysses S. Grant. <laughs> American Pharaoh. American Pharaoh. This is just Now playing on stars. It's at this point in the show where we taste... Taste? Hmm. Provocative. It's at this point in the show where we toast our patrons on patreon.com slash beer and board games who have brought us a beer. That's something that you can do to be friends to us and support our show. And so we toast them today. Zachary Espinoza. Kyle Sheridan. Ross McGrath. Claytor. Ah, oh, here's today's guys. Cheers. Patreon. Claytor, thank you. The mighty Claytor. The mighty Claytor. Now you are under my spell. Blue's not moving. Blue's not gonna win. What if yellow somehow? No. No. That's impossible. Orange is gonna be on top of yellow. No, right orange now. could roll a one and go. Oh, backwards. orange hasn't moved. Of course, yeah, orange could. Orange could roll a one. And move, and it'll be on the bottom of the stack. So there's a very, very small chance that yellow could win. Mm-hmm. Yep. Deal. <laughs> Got to move. That's not going to be. It's not going to be blue. <laughs> you can bet on orange again, and then we. Oh, do orange that. comes in first. Wow. You get seven bucks. Nice. I'm gonna regret this. Come on. Oh! Oh! White goes up one, and then back, and so green goes to the top of that. Stack. Oh my god! No, really? <laughs> green baby. Green. Oh no! That's astounding. All right, I'm taking a wow. green one. I'm not going to bet on any of these other schmoes. I'm just going to roll. One, Whoa! Three. One, two, three. Yeah, but I'm... green hasn't gone, so your gambit seems like it paid off. How... You'll notice, though, that my gambit on white did has not pay off, pay off as well, no. Only one. One. All right, so at the end of the leg, green bets pay out for first place. That's eight bucks eight. and two bucks. Orange bets pay out for a second place for a dollar each bet. That's two for me. Minus one. Mm -hmm. 
That's gonna cause problems for green and orange. I still have faith that orange will win this game ultimately. I'm kind of tempted to make things confusing and put this here. Mm-hmm. I want this race to. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow two. One Whoa. two. I'm betting wow. on a winner. Wow. Really? You fool. Green? Yep. I gotta bet on my man orange. <laughs> but it's too early to bet on green. I will bet on the camel <laughs> with one space behind it. <laughs> bet on green. I'm gonna get these. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's see who bet right. Uh, oh! oh! One, two, three. That puts yellow firmly in the lead. Green Ooh. has like a two thirds <laughs> chance of being in first. We'll both put it in the lead. A two will put it first. You're thinking too much. Yeah, yeah you're, you're thinking totally way too much. Why am I doing that? <laughs> Green is going to jump right there and go underneath that stack, and then orange is not going to get far enough. You're wrong. <laughs> Green got a one. Whoa. Well, I'm going to wrap yeah. this up, so let's see what happens. Two, 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 two. Oh! <laughs> Matt. Your camel's like, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, seven, John has 17. I have 16. What? 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 In the butt. How many, by the way, here's the butt token. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That, yeah. Now's the time that I bet on the winner. You guys don't roll the dice enough. I should have rolled it. Then Orange would have got a two. See? <laughs> yeah, Orange is winning. Suckers. I'm gonna double down on green. I think orange is gonna get piled up on. I don't like this. Whoa! Blue one. Oh no, I knew it! Everybody's gotta get on orange's back. This is a mirage right in front of them. Yellow and green are probably gonna get a two or. There's a two thirds chance. Far that too much thinking going on. Mm hmm. <clears throat> That's more like it. Shapoo. <laughs> Shalulu, Cthulhu's <sighs> sister. <laughs> Nieri would like an insult for their fiance, Micah. He's a huge fan and watches and rewatches every episode of our show. His birthday was June 29th and he turned 23. He's heavily tattooed and has a long black dreadlocks and plays in a punk band called Hate the Rich. Please insult his mustache. It's shaved in the middle and just a patch on each side and it's a running joke and Nieri is not a fan of it. We're supposed to insult Micah and his dumbass mustache. Sounds like an easy task. Yeah. <laughs> your band is called Hate the Rich, but what you don't know is that to your bandmates, it's called Hate Micah. Or Hate the Mustache. <laughs> or both. <laughs> I don't know what you do in the band, what you uh, per play, if you sing or play an instrument, but I'm sure you do it poorly. It's probably the xylophone. Your xylophone solos are shit. You're stupid, okay? In your hipster band. Lipster band. <laughs> Micah, idiot. So I just gotta bet on somebody. It's probably gonna be yellow or green, because Do they're doing pretty good. Seems like green's probable, or but you can like, roll the dice. somebody already took this, the green stuff. Yeah. Just do something, please. Taking yellow. Do a thing. I'm gonna take the last green. Uh, damn it. Oh! Whoa! And white is still <laughs> very game. far behind. <laughs> Honestly, the white camel has the best chance of surviving in the desert because of the reflection. Like a polar bear. Which is funny because the polar bear also has the best chance of surviving in the desert. <laughs> yes. Wait. Most polar bear footage I've seen, they're all kind of dirty. Those are brown bears you're looking at. Wait. The polar bears that I know have really dirty bodies and really white faces and dirt all around their eyes and they eat bamboo stalks <laughs> and they're cuddly and they roll around. And sometimes one of them sneezes and another baby gets surprised. That's Those are the polar bears that I know. <laughs> That's a panda. <laughs> Bright. Not a one, not a one, not a one. Duh. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Let us go for the last place. Yellow is wrong, that cost you a dollar. Uh, wait, how did I bet on yellow for last? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. A white is correct. Oh. That's that eight bucks for you. The oh my gosh, thank room. you. <laughs> and uh, then, betting on winners, I, I bet on white to win. That cost me a Ooh. dollar. You're green. Nope. That's five oh, bucks for shoot. you. Mm. And three bucks for you. Let's add them all up. 23. I got 28. I got 32. Ah. I'm going to literally come from behind. I have 13 plus 
some sort of camel butthole. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> <laughs> It's a nice day for a white win. <laughs> Do you play Scrabble? No. My wife and I cannot play Scrabble. We played it when we were dating. We, we never almost broke up about it, but there are hurt feelings. <laughs> hurt feelings. 